Hey guys, this is Mike from Ball and Boys, and the rats uh, thawed out and ready to feed. So let's get going. There's my dog Zora. She is a miniature pincher, hundred percent full blooded. She is a beautiful dog. Hey girl. Yeah. All right. First, we're gonna be feeding my five and a half foot hypo. Pet Cal Albino. And let's get this in for her. Hold on guys, I'm by myself, so give me a second. Alright. Come on, girl. Oh. oh, she got the tail. Oh, I hate when that happens. She's biting the tail. But she's got it, so she'll find her way to the head. Good thing it's not alive. That's why, and see, this is one of the good reasons why a lot of people don't like feeding, <coughs> excuse me, don't like feeding live because if that was a live rat it could have easily not got the head wrapped up enough and it could have been biting her and a medium-sized rat could easily take a good chunk out of a snake like that so it's really good that you do get your snakes used to eating frozen thawed and so it's a lot safer and for situations like this so again she is a hypo het cal albino five and a half feet we are upping her feed in to one medium rat per week. It is August now, mid-August. So she's going to be upping her feed ins all the way through till December. Well, probably about November we'll stop. And we're going to be pairing her in about late December. And, you know, hopefully this will be her first season. So hopefully she'll, um, she'll take this year. We're going to be pairing her with an albino cow male. So... Let's hope for the best, guys. We'll keep you updated on the status of her um, from now till breeding season on her progress of um, her gaining some weight and getting ready for breeding season. And then also we're going to be doing a lot of, uh, we're going to do a five-part series on the breeding season this year. So you'll get to follow the progress of all the snakes from courting all the way to giving birth. Well, let's move on to our next uh, feeding. And what we just found, she's a great eater. She grabs it right there, right where she should, takes it real quick. And she just ate about six days ago, a medium rat. So these are small mediums. They're like really big small, so they're small medium. So one every five to seven days to get them, um, you know, get them going, get their feeding up is perfectly fine. So there is another one in the water dish. We're gonna give her a small one and then when she wraps it up, we will take her out and put her in her own container to eat because you never want to feed two boas in the same container. Some people don't like feeding them in the house they'll be living in, but my boas do not live in the same enclosure for too long, especially during the breeding season. They'll be switching cages, going with males, going in, going out. So right now we're just feeding them right where they are. All right, time for the next one. And the next feeding is a three foot motley Nicaraguan dwarf Pet T plus female. And I'm gonna have to, once 
this one eats it, I'm going to have to, since I'm by myself, I'm going to have to put the camera down so I can pick her up and get her in her own enclosure. All right, guys? All right, she's got it. Now we will. All right, we got her. Hold on, let me put it down. Okay guys, we're back and she is in her own enclosure and she will take her rat right there and there and I will leave her for about 15 to 30 minutes after she eats it to digest a little bit and she will go right back into her enclosure. All right, and on to the next feeding. Let's just close this cage up. Make sure this big one doesn't get out. All right, we got her locked in there. And the next one we're gonna be feeding today is, actually she's right in this bin where everything is on, so let's move this stuff out of the way. Now this one is Empress. I talked about her in a video, one of my last videos. And she is a female BCI Colombian het annery. So, and the reason why she's in this three by two tub is because when I put the meal, she was in here where you see this berm. But when I put the male up here about a month ago, a month and a half ago, to mate with my female, when she was down here, she rubbed her nose really, really hard against here and here, and she got really bad nose rub. So we took her out, we put her in here so she couldn't hurt her nose against the screen, because this is a screen, and, you know, just to heal up, let her get a couple of sheds in there, and she'll be all right. And as you see, I have my rats right here. They thought out why they were in the bag, and then right as before I feed them, I like to put them in hot water. So I like to clean the rat, basically cleans anything off. I dry them with a towel, and I feed them. So we'll feed Empress. As you see, we just have a hide in there for her with a heat pad underneath that hide. And And a small water dish right there, nothing that she can lay in, but just something that she can drink out of. See, just dry the rat, you know, because you don't want it to be soaked, but it doesn't have to be, oop, right here on the floor there. You don't want it to be completely dry. And we'll take this hide off of Empress. Oh, looks like she's going in the shed, so let's see if she actually takes this. Hopefully she does. Sometimes Empress just likes to be left alone with the rat. Oh. So what we'll do is, we'll just leave Empress's rat in there, that's what she likes, we'll cover her back up, and we'll check in about 30 minutes, 45, 30 to 45 minutes to see if that rat's gone. And if it's not, we'll probably offer it to another snake before it spoils. So, let's move on to the next feeding, guys. And up here, this feeding is going to be to my male rescue ball python 
that we just obtained about three weeks ago, he was severely underweight. When I say he was severely underweight, I mean he was on the verge of death. He has severely bad belly burn from an unthermostated heating pad. So I've been feeding him like every five days a small meal. This will be his biggest meal of that. Since he's had three meals since he's been here in the three weeks, they've all been, two of them have been adult mice, and one of them has been a very small rat. This is actually going to be his biggest meal. This is a, a you know, a small medium rat, so we got to get something good in him. So, bear with me here. Like I said, I'm by myself, so I can get this cage open, and we'll give it a go. Okay guys, we're back and sorry that I couldn't show you him grabbing it. He just, as soon as I opened it, he came right out of the tank, almost right at me. So I had to get it to him. But as you see, he's severely skinny. He has some belly burn. There's some of it right there. You can see it on him. You get a close up of that right there. That's a nasty burn. So we're just hoping that goes away in a few sheds. We're just trying to get his weight back up and he'll just stick around as one of my little uh, python mascots of the ballroom. Alright guys, well, that's it here for ball, for ball and Boas. We have one more snake to feed, but that one doesn't really like to eat, especially on video. I have to pretty much take him out, put him by himself, get him, get him right in the dock, and hope he'll eat. So, we'll uh, keep you updated on everything. And this is Mike from Ball and Boas saying peace.